situation with social media because we are the ants in their experiment. You know? um, Did, were you thinking about anyone with Macbeth? Like once you said with Malcolm X, you thought of your father who had just died, or other actors, or were you, it was just your own? I, I don't really think of Macbeth, I mean, Malcolm X was 30 years ago, so I don't know what I would think about that. That's probably <laughs> something that somebody wrote that. I no, I said. know. That's why I want to ask, just to make I, sure I don't, don't really repeat don't something I stupid. Don't remember. Okay. I don't but you weren't, you didn't watch any other ones? or I'm think? Macbeth? No. no. Just did your own. Well, obviously it's the best Macbeth, but it's I think it's the best Shakespearean thing that's ever been done. It has the feel, you know, it's like Hitchcock and Fellini and Shakespeare all wrapped up. It's like a horror movie opening on Christmas Day. <laughs> Um, oh, here's something Variety said. They were like super impressed that your perform Come on, Beth, huh? yeah, your performance was subtle, where you didn't play him as a monster, but an outwardly gregarious corporate weasel. Um, and Fran suggested maybe he has PSTD. She told me like your Macbeth is not an asshole, not a toxic male, just conflicted and not a good politician. Here, Variety said two characters attempting to turn themselves into sociopaths and failing. Is that pretty good? Oh, here's what I want to tell you. So my AS Michael Kahn, the former head of the Shakespeare uh, Theater in Washington, and he said, um, he said, uh, with Macbeth, one of them knows the dangers and the other one doesn't. His wife doesn't know the consequences, but goes ahead anyway. Macbeth knows the consequences, but goes ahead anyway. He said he sort of got a Christian idea of the punishment of evil. I thought that was interesting since you are a man of faith, you know. I mean, did you think about any of that or no? No. Okay. Well, I did, but not quite like that. Okay. So, you know, yeah. What? How did? What did you think? I did. Okay. It's too, it's too long ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. But don't you know. don't mind if and I keep. And it's not that simple. No, it's not I like, know. Oh, I'm this, and that's what it is. No, it's I know. I know. Yeah, it's it's not quite that simple. But you know, it's, it's interesting what people especially yeah. think about Shakespeare. He's been around for me. Everybody has an idea and interpretation and, and past experience with other. Well, you know, a lot of people think that um, more about Taming of the Shrew, but somewhat about Lady Macbeth, that it's, you know, anti-feminist because she gets the blame. So, but I thought it was interesting that Fran played it straight up. I mean, if women can't be as as uh, do bad things like men, how do we progress? Do you know what I mean? That should be part of our evolution. But there are some feminists, you know, the whole trying to cancel Shakespeare, because cancel Shakespeare. Like Lady Macbeth was used as kind of an insult with Nancy Reagan and Hillary Clinton and Meghan Markle. Like she's a Lady Macbeth. She has undue influence on her husband. That I do. No. <laughs> Do you not mind if I keep asking stupid questions? Well, I'm in the world, well, I'm not happy. Yeah. You know, I don't, there's just not anything for me to do with anybody's politics and all of that. I'm not as smart as you. Oh my God, you know, you're so much smarter. I, I don't know what people thought about it or what they related to. I just you know what I bring to it. It was just a great experience, one of the great things that we were able to do was sit around the table and everybody was going to take a turn. Yeah. So that was good. We were really a company that, that was, you know, and that's, I'm about to work, you know. I tell people all the time, you know, we want people to get the movie that they want to take breaks with us. I'm the movie. I'm done. I did the movie. I'm all the people. Right. I'm not going to be the interpreter. Feel about it, and compare it to something else. You know, people will dissect it. And, you know, I'm not even there. I'm, I'm somewhere else right now. But did you?
train i know you went to the san francisco conservatory but did you have to train to be able to do that or you just learned how to do shakespeare no 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 american conservatory theater did a production of taming of the shrew right which was on pbs and when i saw that i i first of all going back to the dixie my mentor at the boys and girls club said you're not good at it you're going to take it so far i was running faster and i was back but another kid came to me who was faster than me my mentor at the club would see how effective it was He's faster, but he doesn't know how to run. He doesn't know how to pass the time. He doesn't know how to run the first. The natural ability can only take the first ball. So after only two years of training that quarter, I knew I didn't know enough. I knew my natural ability could only take the first ball. So I decided I would well, I would have learned about the league of professional schools, do yards, catch and use, get out of ECT, all of that. So that's why I went there. Back when I leave here, uh, I'm gonna sit down with uh, one of the first people I met today in my class and saw and see things. A fellow named Delroy Linda. Oh wow, yeah, I love him. Yeah, Delroy and I were in the same class. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. great on, great on. Um, was I gonna ask you? Oh. Todd said that sometimes when you're working with young actors or whatever, you have to keep telling them to say it like they would say it. Actually, it's analogous to writing. You, you know, I always tell people, try and do it like you would write a letter to a friend. Like, don't overthink the formality of the writing. But did you have to, you know, train yourself? You, this Shakespeare is the most naturally spoken Shakespeare in history. Where the words are spoken. Who said that? Me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, Marlon, I know, I know Marlon, Marlon Brando. Word? Tom Hanks refers to you as our Brando. Say that again. I was emailing with Tom Hanks. He refers to you as our our Brando. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah, he says you're a cross between Brando Nicholson and Lawrence Olivier, but I didn't really like Lawrence Olivier, so he overacted, I think. But uh, did you have to learn how to do that, or did that come naturally? I don't know what that is. That's just what someone Hanks said. No, not that, about how you can make Shakespearean verse sound like you're talking to me now. It's crazy. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. But is that something you have to work on, or you always had that? That's 45 years of training. Yeah. And it's training. When I interviewed a long time ago Paul Newman, he said that he, as he got older, he distilled his acting. You know, he simplified it. And when he looked back at his young performances, they just seemed way over the top. I didn't agree with him. I loved the young performances and the older ones. They were different, but. When is there something you've done with your acting over the years that you like better, or I don't look back. Basically. You don't look back. Everything. If I catch a scene on TV, I don't, I don't look back. Did you look at this movie when it was finished? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see it. What did you think? Oh my God, that must have been incredible to see it for the first time. It was the first time I, I was in it. So no, no, yeah, I know, but how did, you know, just the atmosphere of it that surrounded you was incredible. Because it's told to be from the own perspective, and it's from nature, and you're trying to learn from it. And I was amazed at what was done, how it was built with this level of concentration and attention to detail. But I was looking at, I had been looking at those things from the director's perspective. No, that, say. That, 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 oh, that, you, you have, have to, to say have, something. I'm saying that's what I said. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know. Thank you. So, Fran said he built the colonnade for you or something, custom made it, the one where you had the lawn wall oh, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, dagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was incredible. Yeah, for, the, for me. Well, for the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing, yeah. that speech. <laughs>